All right, now that we're here at Ocean Fresh, see what they have. Fujisan's packing some orders right now, and whatever's left over, we can have. And Mike and Daryl talking about the menu for tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna put on some two side by side, or a little, you know. I, I, I need to be more like a little cooking grill nearby. Yeah. Then I'm gonna cook and come back. Maybe. Cook and come back. Yeah. While I do sushi, you can. Um... Yeah, more cooking side. More cooking too. side, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. Salmon carpaccio. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of. Some carpaccio. Yeah. It's a funny course menu. For, uh, for, With hero. For the guys I'll be doing. Okay. I'll be doing uh, one before going to pasta, uh, like uh, sushi. I serve one uh, and then one to maybe uh, Oh yeah, we can two. put it in between. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Salmon and the fresh tuna inside. Okay. okay. And then we have a uh, wasabi root. Okay. okay. And uh, kaiwale and uh, obari. Okay. So far. Yes, and okay. we can choose from here. We, we have a saba, six saba, one piece okay. Would you like I think one piece is enough. Six saba. Six saba. I'm gonna do sashimi. Hmm? Are you kimo from the hungry? Yes, man. Oyster, oyster. Put some muni on there, just do like a whole just thing. Just go crazy, yeah. Try it one piece. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Media, look at that. Big boy. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, of course. Very good. Mm. That's a really nice oyster. Beautiful. Salty, really good. Okay. Jiki minute. Yes, Oh, air parking. Yeah, okay. It have to be air parking. Air parking. Also, okay. uh, Aoyagi, Mirunai, Odo, yeah. live creature. Always the air parking. Okay. It keeps the fresh meat. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you don't understand. Oh, what's that? Chabia, you understand? <laughs> Look who we decided to walk in. This is a man right here. That's our brother. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you. A tuna chef, Ryan. Here we go. This is. This is the man right here. Right here. <laughs> I Chef, you. pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Can't wait to see what uh, what uh, is going to happen tonight. Now, <laughs> Jason, uh, caviar bomb. You have to put your yeah. You know, you're used to this already. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to put wasabi on there. Oh yeah, no, no. You didn't say stand by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to do I'm going to do it. <laughs> He's going to do another one with wasabi. Oh. This is from this. Yeah, we're going to do a fist bump and then we put our This guy's a nut. Yeah, you have to put your hands on it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 This is Saba, we're going to heavily salt this for about an hour and then vinegar. So this is the first thing. What kind of salt? Just This is just a 
Japanese uh, natural sea salt. Okay, you just coat it both sides? Yeah, pretty aggressively. And for about an hour, is that right? Just about an hour, yeah. And what kind of vinegar do you use? Uh, we're just going to use regular uh, rice wine vinegar. Okay. And what does it do? This is going to tighten up the fish. And basically, we want to cure it. Um, almost all the fish for, for sushi is going to get either vinegar or salt on it at some, of some level. That's kind of the Edo style, is to make sure that we have some sort of uh, preservation aspect. Yeah, looks like a lot of salt, but don't, don't worry. <laughs> so all the fish, if you can see the fish is like round on this side, uh, and then it's flat here. This is the part that we'll use first because um, all the Japanese fish is always stored this way. Okay. So, so you always want to use the flat side first for sushi. Because that's the one. The round side. The round side is just going to be more um, like ha uh, uh, it'll last longer because it's not sitting like this uh, okay. in shipping. But they every Japanese. Vendor always knows to put fish this way. Okay. Yeah. So what we're doing right now, this is going to be, this is Kimidai, golden eye snapper. It's known for its beautiful, beautiful eye. If you go up and down motion, you don't, uh, the scales don't go everywhere. Mm, got it. Rather than this, so just up and down. Up and down, right? Okay. Okay, let's break the head. This is deep water fish, so it always has a lot of kind of black to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, so the fish we receive the fish, and uh, I'm gonna put it in ice water like this, salt, yeah, like salted, a slush, right? yeah, slush, and that's just gonna help bring the temperature down and also like uh, just get it ready for for sushi. So I'm gonna leave it like this, and I'm gonna take my uh, kawashi over there. Yeah. Oh, we're just gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this and take out some of that blood. So you make a little slush slurry, huh? Looks like a slurry. Yeah. And I'm going to actually leave this for a couple, like an hour just until we're ready for uh, sushi time. Oh, okay. I'm going to break down this aji. To do this, where you don't take too much of the skin, you're going to be right above it. So this line, you want to remove. Go all the way up. I'm gonna go all the way up. So why are you removing the scales this way as opposed to the other way? And uh, this fish? For this fish, remove the scales like this because you see this line. You right. can't remove that without cutting it off. Okay. So you want to remove that with... Uh, with knife. Okay. And then we'll go back and we'll. Ch -ch 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 -ch. This and Saba, you peel that top layer of skin off. Yeah. But uh, this is very, um, very hard scales. Okay. It's like a crease or something. Mm -hmm. So 
What's the measurement? What's the number? Uh, we want to get to about 250. 250 grams. 250 grams. And this how is, much of uncooked rice for that? Uh, for 250 grams of sushi stew, we're going to go 450. 450, 450 grams of uncooked rice. Uncooked rice, yeah. Got it. I'm going to change the vinegar a little bit. This is maple vinegar. We have verju vinegar. So we're going to mix a few vinegars. Uh, this is a verju, white verju. Verju is like vinegar made from grapes. So a total of 250. 250. <laughs> Got it. Not too And do you have to cook it to bring it to a boil or no? Yep, we're going to add our. Uh, some salt, just about for this. Fish is pretty fresh, so I want this to be intense. So I'm gonna go maybe 50 grams. 50 grams should do it. Salt. And we found some amazing, beautiful premium rice. The, f the markets you guys have here are amazing. Now what is this? This is just uh, Japanese sugar. Japanese sugar, okay. And how much of this? This, we go, yeah, about 60. 60 grams. Uh, let's go 70, and then we, we adjust. Okay. Kombu. And this is the uh, sushi soup. Let's bring it to a boil and just that's it. let it dissolve, and that's it. Okay. So that's going. That's going in. And I'm gonna work my house soy sauce. Yeah, this one we don't need scale. This one. Okay. We're just gonna figure out. So how many different kinds of soy sauce going here? This is going to be two different types of soy sauce. Okay. Perfect, thank you. So this is a regular, like, um, single variety soy sauce. This is smoked shoyu. This is smoked soy sauce. So half equal parts? Yeah, just about equal parts. Okay. Okay. Half part, half part mirin. We're gonna do sake and uh, a little sugar and kombu. And then we're gonna burn off the sake. And that will be for our sushi rice. And we're just gonna let that kombu steep all the way until the time we're ready. This is kombu, but the Tara kombu. It's very delicious. This will go with the saba. This is per pound one of the most expensive like things that we have in our kitchen right now. So all of this beautiful flavor and the natural MSG. I'm just gonna use the rice wine vinegar to flavor the vinegar, but also to pickle this. Sauce, we bring it up. So, last step to making our Nikiri soy sauce. I want the katsubushi. Okay. You add the katsubushi, you want to cut. Cut the uh, heat. 
so boils cut the heat. Once it boils, cut it. once you add katsubushi, you cut the heat. Okay. I'm going to use this. I'm going to chop this up. I'm going to put this on the nigiri for netta. Oh, wow. From okay. top of the sushi. So I don't waste anything. Okay. So we chop this up. We'll put it on one of the fish. Just let it sit in here for now. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to be our sushi soup. You notice how much all of the fish has salt on it? It's because we want to draw all the moisture out. We don't have time to, to dry age the fish. So we want to draw as much moisture and bring in a lot of the concentrated flavor. Mm. Some people think you just fresh, is, fresh fish is best, but it's, it's not. You want to age your fish, you want to get it funky. Mm -hmm. So how long will you leave it like this? This, one hour. One hour. Okay, just like it is, right? That's it? No vinegar, nothing? Whoa. Oh, maybe not cut that. No uh, vinegar later. Okay. You can see how wet this is now. Almost ready. And later on, you just remove the salt and just let it sit? Later, remove the salt, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have to, you said remove the salt, do you actually rinse it? You don't rinse it because you're adding more water into it? Uh, yeah, I rinse it. Okay. Now it, it's all tight, the, the skin is so tight, it's not going to penetrate. I see. It should be fine. You want a piece of this? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna do some little sashimi. Rice is very difficult to do. So you said 450, right, Chef? Mm hmm. And this is Koshi Hikari. This is coming from Negata Prefecture. This is a short grain rice. Uh, one of my favorite rice. Very expensive, too. This is. Probably four, three to four times more expensive than um, normal sushi rice that you find at your traditional sushi yas. Um, this just, I mean, you'll see it. It has a beautiful shine to it. And uh, I mean, this prefixture is just fantastic. A short grain, uh, Negata. This bag was $40. Holy smokes. This, is, this no. is only the rice we use. Wow. So how many times do you wash the rice? I wash the rice until it's done. Until it's clear. <laughs> okay. No, like you can actually over, over wash. But uh, at least three to five times. Careful not to lose any. We take all that time to measure it. And then you're going to lose all that. So you, you have to be careful. Yeah. So how much water, Chef, are you putting? Four hundred twenty-five. Oh, four. So four hundred twenty-five. Mm -hmm. And same equal amounts, basically. Uh, ninety-four percent. Okay. But well, who's counting? Except, except me. <laughs> Just ninety-four percent. But who's counting? <laughs> when you see this together, yeah. Do you want clear? Not okay. too clear. It can be, you can overwash it. Okay. And this is the rice that you made. You take credit for this, okay? I'm not taking credit for this. This is the bonito, right? This is uh, the soy sauce. Uh, the house soy, and then this is gonna be just um, a little bonito that we're gonna throw on a piece.
Get these, get a big piece, big piece. Oh, big piece? Don't have to tell me twice. Oh, with our Maggie? Let me see this guy. Oh, mm. oh yeah. Mm. 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 Here's on, that looks so good. Oh, yeah. Fresh, fresh. So many today. Incredible, huh? We have a dashi today. Real dashi, too. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. I saw you making that earlier. All of the uh, fish bones. Yes. Roast that off and then make the dashi and katsubushi and then soba, soba sauce. It wasn't that handashi powdered stuff? No handashi. <laughs> MSG. <laughs> MSG, salt, pepper, and handashi. Wow. Incredible. This is our second round of soba noodles today. Hell yeah. All right, guys, how's everything tonight? Yeah. All right. Thanks so much to everyone. Chef Hero, Chef Mike, Ali, for your home. Thank you, guys. Let's thank Brian over there for it. He picked up a lot of stuff at the groceries, the steak and all that. He paid for the sake, and of course, Ocean Fresh. Thank you so much, Ocean Fresh. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys for Thank you. us.